What is up? Working on my own AC unit. Phone here and watch this. So, uh, R22 and my POS Goodman unit changed the outdoor fan motor today because I found the con I found the compressor totally overheated and it took like over an hour to get it to cool off with water to reset the old reciprocating compressor and it did and it seemed like it was kind of cooling uh, after I turned for a few minutes but I noticed that there was some bearing play in the motor I go ah the outdoor fan motor probably just went out but then reset before the compressor did but so I changed that motor it was worn it had bearing play but and then we noticed you know since I did that earlier today that it hasn't cooled so I actually put my gauges on it and it was down to like 18 PSI. Tried to add a little bit of extra charge, but it just started stacking up and it didn't get much over 20. So I tried to reverse the reverse in valve a few times, but uh, it kind of felt like it was starting to cool for a second and then didn't. So now I'm up in my attic at uh, 9.30 at night. Got this TXV, uh, I dirty cranked open the uh, valve all the way. Man, this thing's good at freezing cold. So. You can look at the 22 degrees. Uh, it was down to tw about 30 PSI. So I took this bulb off and then I've been smashing it. I assume it, it's foobard. So if this doesn't come up enough, if I could at least get it up towards 50 or so, it might not freeze. I'm just trying different things like uh, smashing this piece of junk. You can see the pressure. It actually seemed like it went up when I did that. So if it doesn't get it, I'm gonna come up here like freaking brazen a Schrader on this some bitch pressurize that dome. But if it's a restriction, then you can help. But it's made a difference when I pulled this off. It made a difference when I turned this valve and then pulled this off. See there, it's up to 47. Oh man, if I could just get a little bit more, I could probably get through the night. Oops, I don't know what just happened there. So, let's see, I'm gonna set the phone down. Much. Oh yeah, you can see I'm in my uh, slippers and shorts. That's all I'm wearing. Just get my channel locks on this bulb a little more. And smash it. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. Let's see what we got going on there on the screen. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get some action here. If I get it right there, it's like it's not gonna freeze there. Hopefully I don't freaking crush this so much that I break the bulb and it leaks out. Pinch it real good. There we go. Look at that. I smashed it flat real good. 59 PSI. <laughs> yeah. Which of my suction lines will start getting cool now. Oh, it is. Come on, it's my DVR. Somebody's out front. Hopefully not the looters. To get my AR-15 out. Or my shotgun, I don't know which one. Well, <laughs> it's a stupid conversation we're having, but given what they're, they're just did at 8 p.m. curfew in our city, and people are already looting the Walmart over by my daughter's house. So if people start doing stuff here, uh, this, Normally my 12 gauge is my go-to gun for normal self-defense, but if you actually have thugs, or a group of thugs, um, it's one that 30 round mags in the air 15, definitely. Oh, look at that. Keeps doing that. Hey, look at that, I mean, got some pressures. So, cool. I'm gonna call it a night. 61 PSI. How about that, guys, it worked. I started out at 18 PSI. I think I have just a pinch extra refrigerant in out there. Only helped so far. A little extra hit pressure against this. And then uh, took off the, adjusted that, took off the bulb, got it up to a little over 30. But once I started smashing that, I got it all the way up to a 60. Um, dang it, pushing button on the time. To, got it up to 60 PSI, so cool. All right, man. Let's catch you guys later.